Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Decided that we would do a Q&A with me and Scotty for you guys. So let's get right in to the questions um, that I got from Instagram. Link down below if you're not following. <laughs> Favorite physical activity? Snowboarding. <laughs> yeah. Or weightlifting. He's really gotten into snowboarding. Um, I don't know. I, I like the Peloton. I like being on a bike. But weightlifting, definitely, for sure. <laughs> tacos or burritos? Tacos! Tacos. I'm Soft dead. shell. I like hard shell. Even. That's because I like to take hard shell tacos and basically turn them into nachos. So then just say... <laughs> uh. <laughs> what songs or bands have you guys been listening to lately? Tiny Meat Gang. Wait, really? Is that what you're listening to at the gym? Yeah. That's Cody Ko and Noel. Oh, you did tell me you were listening to- is that all you're listening to when you're at the gym? Yeah. I wish you guys could see him when he's lifting and apparently singing that at me. Yeah. Bars. <laughs> uh, emo isn't dead, punk isn't dead, and so anything that's emo or punk, pretty much, I'll be listening to. Who's the goofiest between you two? <sighs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'd say we're both pretty goofy. Yeah, but I think you're just like one little bit tier higher than me. Fine. Fine. See? I'll take it. I'll take it. How did you and Scotty meet? And how long have you been together? So we've been together for almost six and a half years. We started seeing each other in November of 2013, but we didn't start dating until January 2014. Yeah. But... We actually met at a happy hour uh, for work. We were at a bar or a brewery and um, I was like, oh, he cute. And I had seen him before and I was like, <laughs> oh, he cute. And apparently he had thought I was cute Hi, when he yeah. had seen me before. Um, so I convinced them to come downtown with us, even though they weren't going to be eating dinner with us because they weren't hungry. But we went downtown and that's the seasoned fries night. Yes, and fish bowls. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> Lots and of one big ass fish bowl. Yeah, it was great. Someone distracted Scotty when we were at the bar trying to get another drink, and so I bought his drink, and uh, he turned around and he was like, he went to go pay, and I was like, oh no, I already paid for us, and he was like, well, now I really have to take you out on a date. And I was what like, up? okay. So he. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'll give you my number and you can contact me. I was like, bitch, no. I'll give you my number and you can contact me. And then he hit me up the next day. The rest was history. So what made you continue doing YouTube besides paying the bills? I just wanted to be my own boss. I think that was the main thing. I hated doing the nine hours a day, every day, and going into an office. And Did I you? just felt like I was kind of there. It was more of a way to pay the bills before YouTube would pay the bills, sort of thing. Did you really hate going in? I mean, or were you just kind of indifferent? Indifferent, but... You would have preferred to be home recording and doing YouTube. Yeah, it just felt like a more fun job to me. Like, I enjoyed the software engineering, but something about it. I mean, it definitely suits your personality, being at a computer all day, not really talking to people. Thanks. <laughs> Your lack of personality. <laughs> you have plenty of personality. When are y'all going to get married? Well, uh, we are married. So, there's that. Um, which, I guess, guess is a great segue into, are you and Scotty going to talk about your eloping in a video? So sure, we can talk about that. On our anniversary, which was January 4th, I think we were looking at houses. We went and looked at that house, and we were like, really, the house that we're buying, we really liked. We were talking about it, how it would be a bit more difficult for us to buy a house together with Scott having YouTube as his full-time job if we weren't married, so... We... If that wouldn't have affected anything. We could have got a mortgage without being married. I mean, I guess, but it's... We, we thought that was our excuse, but... <laughs> yeah, we, we used that as an excuse on the day. But it was... I mean, it kind of makes sense because I, I didn't really want my name on a house without being married to make it easier for, like, if we broke up. But makes So sense. we were like, fuck it. Let's, fuck it. let's get married. Just fuck it. 
They were like, what, why aren't we married? And Scott was like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Cause he's always been like nervous. It was really funny. He used to say, I don't want to be an adult. And then we were talking about moving to Denver and I was like really, really nervous cause I got the, the offer and I was like, are we doing this? Are we doing this? He's like, yeah, we're adults. We're doing this. And I was like, are we adults? <laughs> But now, we're married. High five. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. What are your future goals? Peace, love, and happiness to you guys. Peace, love, and happiness to you too. Future goals. Just kind of living in the moment. Yeah. Get our house. Our future goals is for our cats to get along. Yeah. That's you. I, I personally want to get back into shape after all of my back problems. That would be good. Yeah, after all of my back problems, I'd really like to be where I was a couple of years ago. Not necessarily, like I don't particularly care about the weight. It would definitely help to lose the 10 pounds and, and get back to lifting on a regular basis, enjoying that, being physically fit. We've, Sounds reasonable. We've kind of slacked and we're not as intense as we used to be. Back when we were doing our 5Ks and mud runs and stuff like that. Your boulders looked good in those pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did you see in Scotty that made you fall in love with him? So, um, I don't know if it was just one thing, but I realized that I wanted to spend all of my time with him. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes. <laughs> but I was, I don't know, he was easy to talk to. He didn't make me feel like an idiot like when I'm out in public with other people I tend to leave social situations and hate everything about the social situation not from other people's perspective but from mine I said all the stupid stuff I'm an idiot people are just nice to me because they're nice people but I've never felt that way with Scott so he's my bestie <laughs> Yeah, we're fucking weird. We're fucking Fuck weird. you. We meow at each other. I think it's because we have cats. <laughs> Maybe. What games do you play? Escape from Tarkov! Fuck that. League of Legends! Yes. I've been playing a lot of TFT lately. Crack cocaine! They're all the same thing. Oh, yes, yes. Uh-huh, yeah. Would you rather have breadsticks legs? Bread yes, edible. Legs. Or cheese for toes? <laughs> yes, edible as well. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Wait, what was the second one now? Cheese for toes. Well, you wouldn't be able to, unless they were super stale breadsticks, there's no way you could walk on those, but you could walk with cheese. Actually, maybe you couldn't, because I think you use your toes a lot just to standing for up. Yeah. But yeah, if they were cheese toes, like... like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like picturing I'm cheese sticks. Oh, I'm thinking like hard cheese, like a Parmesan. Okay, well that you could probably still stand. You wouldn't yeah. be able to like grip things with your toes. And I pick up a lot of stuff with my toes. You can make do. <laughs> you really want breadstick legs? <laughs> no. Okay. How else am cheese I gonna? Toes. How else am I gonna build my glutes? Plus, cheese is expensive. <laughs> Easy money. What? So I'm just gonna start eating my toes? Just like um nom 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 nom. No, we're gonna sell them. Profit. Okay, we're done with this question. Do you guys plan on having children? No. We don't plan on Sorry, having Mom. children. Sorry, Mom. We currently do not have any plans to ever have kids. Maybe that'll change one day, but... For now, no. For now, no. Hi! We got kids. Come here. Yeah. We got a little kid right here. Shiloh. We have Shiloh and Daisy. Those are our kids. I want to eat! <laughs> He's like, nope! <laughs> What is your favorite part of your job, both of you? Making my own schedule. Mine is being able to help people succeed. What's your least favorite part? Having to deal with dumb people. What's most exciting about the new house? That it's actually ours, maybe? And more space. Yeah, than the place we're renting now. It has a basement. So I, oh, that's probably the most exciting thing. <laughs> There's a basement, so we can put Scott's office in the basement. And our bedroom will be on the second floor, so when it's like 10.30 at night, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm going to sleep to try and go to work the next day, and I'm he's screaming, screaming <laughs> I won't be able to hear him like he's in the same room as me, which will be very nice. I'm very excited about that. Hell yeah. 
How does it feel being married? No different. No different. It's the exact same. We've been together long enough that it's just... Now it's legally binding. Yeah. How are y'all liking Colorado? I love it. I was sitting at breakfast today. I didn't tell you this yet. I was sitting down at breakfast and I was like overcome with emotion because two of our friends were there who live right around the corner. We were eating good food, hanging out, having good conversation. And like, it's two friends that we used to live near in Florida, but now that we've been out here, we get to see them all the time and hang out with them. And it just- Cause they moved out here. Yeah, cause they moved out here before us. And I don't know, I was just so happy. What about you? You like Colorado? Yeah, it's a little cold sometimes, but I like snowboarding. I don't like hiking very much. I'm hoping I can somehow convince him that hiking is the greatest thing in the world. I'm also Are instead- Are you in a cult? Yeah, it's called fucking hiking is amazing. I want to get a dog and I've told him that if he lets me get a dog, I can take the dog hiking and not him. And still, that doesn't seem to be uh, solidifying the dog thing. This is for you. Fuck, Mary kill, Wildcat, Big Jiggly Panda, and Marcel. Why is this for me? Because I'm not fuck, Mary and killing them. That's, you don't get a choice. I do. This is my video. Choice made. Who is the third one? Marcel. Anthony and Tyler. Hmm. Marry Marcel. <laughs> Kill Tyler. Okay. Fuck Anthony. I figured. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... If I was around Tyler more, I might get sick of him. Anthony just probably just sits there in his own drool. <laughs> just, he probably doesn't say much half the time. <laughs> oh my god. He's in his own little world. You guys getting a pet? We have two. Cats, Daisy and Shiloh. Are we getting another pet? No. <laughs> I just realized what I just said makes it more likely that I would marry Anthony and fuck Marcel. Because he... I, w I, I mean, you basically already fucked Marcel. <laughs> There's proof somewhere. No. <laughs> I hope it's been destroyed. Are you wearing gauges? And if so, what size? Yes, zeros. I'm a zero. Do y'all share socks? Yes. That's the weirdest question, but, but yes. yes. <laughs> it's the no I don't shows. use her socks, she uses my socks. No, no, no. Okay, we both, yeah, yeah, yeah. We both have purchased socks from Journeys. They're no-show socks, and we pulled them together. He may have come into the relationship with the Journey socks originally, but I also bought some and contributed. Hmm, yes. But then I got my own no-shows. They're the Harry Potter no-shows. I like them better. I don't really like the Journey no-shows anymore. They're pretty low quality. Yeah, pretty much. And we have to buy new ones because I have to go through and throw out the ones with holes in the heels because as a 28-year-old man, he does not. True. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite pastime slash activities? Mine is doing puzzles, reading, watching Playing YouTube video videos. Games, I guess. That's and what looking. I like doing it still. Yeah, and watching YouTube videos or like um, TikToks. We used to do vines when we first started dating. We would lay in bed. Rest in peace. And watch vines forever. Popcorn or chips? Chips. Chips. 100%. Why did you move to Colorado? I have a whole video on that, so I'll link it down below in the description box so you can go check it out. What's your favorite HP book and movie? Either the third movie or one of the seventh movies are my favorite. I just enjoy seeing the seventh book play out, but I think maybe the fourth book might be my favorite. There's so many details that they cut from the movie that pisses me off, so probably that one. What is your favorite thing about each other? Easy to be around. She's goofy like me, and she's smart, even though she says she's not. I think... My favorite thing about Scotty Do tell. is that even when we fight, even when we're ne not necessarily getting along, I still Wanna feel I still feel like he wants to be with me, like he wants to be around me, like he wants to be my friend, like he loves me. I feel like he does a pretty good job of making me feel wanted. Deep fried Oreos or deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Oreos. Yeah, probably. I've never had either, but the thought of a peanut butter and jelly deep fried just sounds weird. I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'd rather just scoop the peanut butter and jelly into my mouth. Well, they, there was a brand that used to make them already in the same jar, and I would literally just take a spoon to it. Yeah. How's the house coming along? Will there be more videos on it? Yes. So stay tuned. It's either up before this or after, but make sure you're subscribed 
to my YouTube channel and following me on Twitter and whatnot because I'll post when I upload it. But yes, we have um, some updates on the house. It's coming along really well. Should pineapple be on pizza? No. Yes. If you want to put pineapple on pizza, Am I put satanic? pineapple on pizza. No. Yes. So <laughs> I don't Problem like solved. I don't like pineapple with ham. I like pineapple with bacon, and that's pretty much the only way I like pineapple on pizza. But you like hams. <laughs> Oh my god. Why do you guys hate Florida so much? I live up north and it's cold as hell. I hated Florida because it was hot and sticky almost the entire year. Yeah? Yeah, and I don't... I, I've lived on the East Coast my entire life, up and down from Florida to upstate New York, and I just... I was tired of that humidity on the East Coast. I was tired of there being nothing in Florida really to do without sweating profusely, so... I don't hate Florida. He doesn't hate Florida. He just moved because I was unhappy. And he loves me. And he's amazing. You or Scotty plan on releasing a U2s? Me? No. I, I don't plan on releasing it. Do you have a favorite artist or band? I love Bless the Fall. Disturbed is amazing. Every time I die. Can you tell what genre we are into? <laughs> was it hard to adjust to Scotty becoming a YouTuber? No, because he was already doing YouTube, like, he hid it from me for what, three or four months at the beginning of our relationship. He was so, I swear he gave me a heart attack because he was like, I have something to tell you. And I was like, oh fuck, we're breaking up. I really fucking think I'm falling in love with this guy. And he was like, I do YouTube videos. And I was like, okay. I was like, okay. And he was like. Yeah, I do gay shit on the side. <laughs> he was like. You don't find that weird? I was like, whatever. What kind of videos? He was like, gaming? And I was like, okay. Sure. I don't care. He was like, oh, okay. So it hasn't really been weird. I actually think it's better for our relationship that he's doing just YouTube versus doing his full-time job and YouTube because it's easier on him and me in terms of us being able to have time to spend together because he worked a lot and there was often times where I felt like like there wasn't time for us um but now that's not really the case if y'all were abducted by aliens would you want them to put you in their zoo or circus zoo yeah probably zoo yeah I'd rather just shake my dick around and make people look at it than be in a, a circus I feel like they're treated poorly in a circus as yeah. opposed to a zoo typically which is why a lot of circuses don't have animals in their zoos anymore or in their circuses but zoos are f typically phenomenal for animals, um, rehabilitation and things like that. What's your ideal date together? Pizza or McDonald's? On the couch. Probably right now watching Parks and Rec. Oh. <laughs> That's our ideal date right now, probably. How old are you? Both Scott and I are 28. We'll be 29 May, June. What was the last thing that Scotty did that pissed you off? Do you know what it is? Probably not. <laughs> Told me how to drive. Backseat driver. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> is Scotty buying that ring? There will eventually be a ring, but this is what I have and that's what he has. Silicone rings. It's pretty easy. What are your future plans for streaming and are you going to still stream in the future or get a different job? I want to keep streaming and I want to keep doing YouTube. I just have to make myself do it. It's hard for me to put content out because I feel like it's not good or I'm always second guessing it. So I just, I just need to do it, but I want to keep doing that. You also work more than 40 hours a week. Typically. Yeah. So it, it can be pretty tiring. It's big kudos to Scott who did it for years. Um, will you do more videos with Scotty? Yes. Always. Always. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Q&A. If you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.